Watchman devices are another way for you to redu uh, reduce your risk of stroke. Please welcome Dr. Greg Silverman joining us, sir. It's good having you in. Good morning. Uh, these are devices you're very familiar with. Uh, we, we are. They're, we just started doing, using them about a month ago. We have a, a whole program. One of my partners has a whole program in which we insert these devices. And remember, we've talked about this. We've talked mm -hmm. about atrial fibrillation in the past. That is where the upper chambers beat irregularly and it, and it causes blood to pool. And when blood pools, it clots. And when blood clots, we generally say that that causes strokes. We have some pictures. Yeah, if not video. We have we have a picture of this, and and what we believe is that th this is the your risk of stroke with various uh, risk factors in atrial fibrillation. This is what's called a watchman device, and this is a basically a left atrial appendage occluder. There's an area in your left atrium of your heart that that uh, is called the appendage, and we believe that that's where the blood clots come from. If you can occlude that area with this a device like this, there's other ones out there. Um, you can reduce the risk of stroke. That is. In patients who have atrial fibrillation, generally you are put on a blood thinner. There are some patients out there who just can't tolerate a blood thinner. There are, there are quite a few patients out there who just can't tolerate it. So in these patients, we will suggest that we put a watchman device like this to occlude that area that potentially increases your likelihood of stroke where, where we believe the clots are coming from. I think from. we had some uh, video too. I, I, I don't know if we were there, really there is video. I, I sent some video yeah. over about how this, de how this device works. Basically, it's done via a catheterization. That is a catheter that goes up in the right side of your okay. heart punctures through your heart, punctures through the, the atrial uh, septum, and then is put in there. We do it in the cath lab, but it, there is uh, anesthesia involved. There's a transesophageal echo, a type of echocardiogram that's involved in putting this thing in the correct place. Uh, ultimately, we've said it is to get you off of certain medications. Correct. That's the, that's, the, that's the point of this device, is to say, look, in those patients who can't or won't tolerate uh, blood thinners, and there are quite a few people out there who don't tolerate blood thinners, this is a device that is as good as a blood thinner. That's, what we're, that's what we're suggesting. Dr. Silverman, as always, man, good, we appreciate good it. Good to see you. Trying to get those videos up for yeah. you. Yeah, okay, <laughs> we'll maybe next time. Next time. <laughs>